day, Michigan. Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? Well, I hope you said well. I'm doing great. We're gonna have fun today. We're gonna explore something that I recently heard about, and I'm kind of surprised that there are not more of these in the world, but we are going, we're in Michigan, as you saw, we're going to check out, I believe, Pizza ATM Machine. Days with Jordan the Lion and you all, it begins right now. As always, he is along for the ride, but he will not be partaking in the ATM pizza today. So this pizza ATM or pizza robot thing that we're going to is just outside of Detroit, kind of like West Detroit. Well, my friends, we have made it over to Capri Pizza and right here in the parking lot is what we are looking for. The Zabbit Pizza Robot. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I had recently saw an article about this and I, I kind of thought to myself, how is it that we have never had a pizza machine? How have we never had a place you could go up and just get everything from a pizza place? Now, I know we have delivery and we have 7-Elevens and gas stations and all that stuff if we want a quick pizza, but let's see what this is all about. The Zabbit Pizza Robot. Ready in three minutes. Looks like we have the options here of pizza, soft pretzels, and hot desserts. Interesting. All right, let's check it out. It says, they work 24 seven, should be ready in three minutes. The incredible and marvelous Zabbit Pizza Robot. All right, so it says, hello Zabbit, I'm new here. Uh, it says, please follow the payment instructions, blah, 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 all the stuff that you know. So let's check out what we have here, what our options are. Continue without an account, let's do that. Now, kind of what I was thinking was, since they have pizza, they have soft pretzels, so you can see the prices here. Meat Lovers is $12.50, the soft pretzels are $8.50, cheese pizza $9.50, garlic cheese bread for $8.50, breakfast pizza for $11.50, that actually sounds pretty good, pepperoni pizza for $10.50, and then we have an Oreo explosion dessert down here, and chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna, you know, I got a friend, Joey Diaz, famous comedian. He once said, if you can't do cheese pizza right, don't even bother. Don't even bother doing anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and do cheese. I'm not expecting it to be anything special like from Naples or anything, but we might be surprised. So it says we're gonna get on there. Tomato sauce, Parmigiano, salt, bleached wheat, flour, cheddar, mozzarella. I do, and it has the allergen risk. I do like that they have all the ingredients listed there. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get that. We'll try that. Hot delivery to consume directly. And they even have silverware here for you to take with you. I like the way you think. So, okay, we'll add that. And I think, I'm not a huge soft pretzel person but I like them here and there so since they have it let's go ahead and get one and see what that's all about soft pretzels four salted Bavarian style soft pretzel sticks oven baked perfection and served with yellow mustard dipping sauce okay I was wondering if you would get a dipping sauce like cheese or something like that so allergen risk soy wheat and gluten okay so let's get that we'll order that now, I'm not gonna eat all this, I promise you. I know some of you are going, yeah, right. No, I promise I'm not. I just wanna try them. I, ideally, what would be great is if I could find a homeless person, I could try you know, one piece of everything and then just give him or her everything. But now we'll do uh, Oreo explosion or chocolate chip cookies. I think we know what chocolate chip cookies should taste like. So let's do the Oreo explosion. Again, it has all your dietary needs on there. Eggs wheat may contain traces of peanuts and gluten, tree nuts, dairy, but ingredients are sugar, chocolate, eggs, bleached wheat, flour, baking soda, vanilla extract, 
and butter. All right, let's do it. Okay. Add that. So our total is $26.50 right now for all three of those. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pay. And you just swipe your card over here. All right, I pressed another button and all of a sudden it took me to this screen, so maybe it'll work now. Yes, yes, it looks like it is card approved. All right, it's making our food. I already removed the card. Preparing the order. We can see it doing its cue right here. Looks like it's making the Oreo explosion cookies first. And then down here it says, just to let you know, the pizza and bread sticks are not cut. So that's why they offer the knife over here from the bin. Interesting. This should be fun. All right, it's still making it, three minutes. That's what they claim, three minutes. Oh, now we're working on the soft pretzels. Now, I don't know if it comes out of here or here. I don't really know what happens. We'll all kind of figure it out together. Okay, so the cookies, I wonder if it's three minutes per item. That's probably what it is. So it's probably three minutes for the cookies, then three minutes for the soft pretzels, and then three minutes for the pizza. We'll see. It's already preheating for the pretzels. So as our pizza's cooking, two little girls came out of this doorway here and said, do you want us to cut your pizza for you? Because it's not cut. When it comes out, we can cut it for you. So they're gonna go ahead and cut it for us. It's kind of a cool little thing. Probably because they have the camera here and they have a camera here so they can see inside the pizza restaurant. But take a look. While that happened, it actually is cooking multiple things. So we have a little over a minute left on the cookies, a little over two minutes left on the pretzels, and then it'll start on the pizza. You guys know me, I love novelties. Now if the pizza's good, I'll be really, really shocked, but I just came to kind of check out the novelty of something like this. I love that people create things like this. And if you notice right here, it does say, actual times may vary. Zabot works as hard as it can to make your food in three minutes. So we ordered three things. We can't uh, fault it too much. Looks like the cookies are getting ready to come out. Seven seconds left. So I want to kind of see where they come from, top or the bottom, or how that works. Just hit zero. There they come. Interesting. Let's take a look. I'll be danged. Now we got 39 seconds left on the soft pretzels. And now our pizza started. So I'm wondering, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is probably gonna be take about six minutes, seven minutes total from the time we place the order. That's really not bad. That is really not bad for three items. Three seconds left and there are pretzels. that absolutely okay they're cold they're all cold okay these aren't these two these two are warm those two are warm but these are like totally cold so let's check the cookie I didn't, I didn't even bother to check the I did notice the box of the cookie was a little bit cold so let's see you know nothing's gonna be perfect right new machine they're still figuring it out those are all warm okay those are good so we got two cold breadsticks, two warm ones, and it looks like they're working on the pizza right now. 
So the official pronunciation is the Zabot, Zabot Pizza Robot. And I think our pizza's about to come out right now. And they did tell me when they came out to, uh, to see if the pizza was done, they did say sometimes because it's a brand new machine, they're still working on like the hiccups of it and everything. So that's probably why I got two kind of cold breadsticks and two warm ones. No biggie. I'm not gonna eat all of them anyway. 17 seconds and it's a good sign because I can smell it already. Here it comes, here it comes. Our big moment. Five, four, three, two, one. Came out down here. Whoo, it's hot, I can feel it. And before she cuts it, there is our little pizza. Nice. I'd say it's probably 10 inches, something like that. And here it comes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, pizza lovers, shall we? I really wanted to see this place just because, you know, like I mentioned, I love novelties, but it's also like a local place. It's like mom and pop run, and I love that idea. So I wanted to give them a little bit of support and a little bit of uh, attention. And people have been showing up since I've been here to uh, place their order as well. All right, here's our honest trial. It's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's not great, but my what I would add is I would say I wish there were a little bit more sauce, but that's because I'm a, when it comes to pizza, I'm a sauce person. So I always want more sauce, but um, the cheese is good, the crust is good, um, just maybe a little bit more sauce. So they were kind of explaining to me, they asked me if any of my food came out cold, because of course they're, they're still working on it. This is just, you know, brand new. And they really didn't think that it would get so much publicity that people would come so quickly, so. Um, they said that basically the, it pulls the, um, the tray in to cook it and then puts it back out so it's possible that maybe two of these didn't get on the tray when they went in. So I'm going to try one of these, the warm ones, with the mustard. Really good. Pretzels are really good. I like those. No complaints with the pretzel. Not the warm one anyway. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. Now let's try one of the cookies. Or like half of a cookie. We'll try that. Looks good inside. They're nice and plump too. Just wondering if you get these little like flat ones. For eight bucks or eh, basically what is that? Two bucks a piece for a couple of fat cookies. Mmm! I like the cookies because they're nice and doughy. Got that cookie dough, heavy, moist flavor. I love that, so excellent on that. So I finished one piece and I went ahead and bit into another one and there was considerably more sauce in that one, so maybe they are good on the sauce. I don't know, I can always go for more sauce personally. And I wanna thank my newest Patreons, Jay Pree, Shelly Boone, and Linda Bewick for helping to contribute to my channel and helping to support our adventures. Mark this one down in the books for us. Another first, our first pizza ATM. And um, it was pretty good. Like I said, for me personally, just add a little bit more sauce to that pizza. If I ever come back through here, maybe we'll check it out again and we'll try the pepperoni or maybe some of the meat style. But um, like I said, you know, I had always heard the rumor or, or jo Joey Diaz, you say, if you can't do a cheese pizza right, then what else do we have to talk about? So the cheese pizza was pretty good. Thank you all for watching. If you're in the Michigan area, look up Zabot Pizza Robot. Thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.